Why you gotta rush me? Can yeah. I please eat? All right, we got we got to go though, yo. Okay. We got to go. Can I eat? No, come up here and eat. Come on, we got to go, yo. Like, come on. Right, like, damn, like, man, we do this every time. Ah. Wow, let me run that back. Like, damn, like, man, we do this every time. Wow, so it looks like she just threw a cup of hot noodles on that man's face. Oh, damn. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Shouldn't have did what she did to me. My face messed up, my neck messed up. I got to walk around like this every day now. Like she was mad Same earlier. We had an altercation earlier about oh, wow. what you gonna do when we stop. Like I told her, when we stop, you got to clean up. Or if you driving and not stop, or you stop, we get, we got to clean up. We can't be just in this dirty truck. She always eating in the back and mad because I'm telling her she got to clean up her mess. And she telling me, I'm going to do it later when I feel like it. I'm going to do it later when I get up. It was always an excuse. So I told her, yo, come up front. Like, because you always making a mess back there, come up front. So she got mad and angry because I told her to come up front. And they're going to throw hot noodles on my face. And y'all thinking it's a game? Look at my face. Look at my neck. This not a game, man. I got to look like this every day. So this is the last part right here. I found this man's page on TikTok. And after the first two parts, a lot of the comments were saying that it's fake. Like this fake. It didn't really happen. I'll be completely honest with you guys. When I saw it, I thought, eh, I don't believe it's real either. And this is his rebuttal to that. This gentleman swears up and down that this actually happened. I'm reading all the comments right now. And y'all think that this is a game? Like, because I don't want to show y'all my scar. Like, you can see that is obviously me covering up something. The doctors didn't put this on me. I cover it up because when I go and make a video, I don't want to have my kids see me on camera with a big scar on their face and people at their school making fun of their dad. I'm not trying to pit mm -hmm. my kids in that, so I We're cover this up to hide this because I'm ashamed how I look. And then y'all wondering why I'm still posting videos on her. They are old videos. I'm sure. Why even if you ashamed of that? Why even post the video about the shit in the first damn place? See what I'm saying? See how the cap? Wow. Well, okay. I don't want, want my kids to see my face. Well, why not? Don't do the video. <laughs> y'all the things that she did to me when I up, had with her because that was my proof. We came from one side of the city, one side of the state, to the other side, from the west coast to the east coast. Of course, she still was gonna be with me. I couldn't just kick her out the truck. She was with me, but I'm just going to make her leave. No, I couldn't. So I had to take her back to the home terminal so that I could show them my proof and that I could press charges on her. Yeah, I pressed charges on her. I'm done with her. She locked up, and it's not my fault. Like, I tried to be a good person. And now everybody coming down at me telling me that I'm lying about something that I got to deal with every day. Like, my mom and everybody calling me. And it's all... I, oh. It's just so frustrating, man, but I thank everybody that's really supporting me because that's what keep me pushing every day. And I appreciate that because I don't have nobody. I don't have a bunch of family members that I can talk to as only my mom. And y'all don't know what I done been through. I done been through trauma and stuff that makes me think that it's okay for a woman to put their hands on you because I'm trying to be kind and I'm trying to be nice and trying to, like, just not give her what she wants. She wanted me to hurt her. She Here's the deal. People aren't making the natural assumption that you lied about it. It's not you. It's how social media operates. Well, a lot of people will do anything to go That's viral. And Sit fake up. situations, we all know this. But if it is, in fact, true, what my man's... fake, because why would he have his camera on? Or, did he cut, or, he, or is it because he been had problems with this broad? Because if it was fake, the cam if it was real, the camera wouldn't even been on. What, what are you recording yourself for? A 1980s Easter Sunday. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue on. Hit the thumbs up button. It says, is it fact true that this situation actually takes place? Of course it's BS, man. You're training someone else to be a driver, and they constantly make mess in the truck. And when you tell them simply, come up front, eat up here, because I don't want you to get mess in the back, and we got to go because we're on a schedule, and she throws a hot cup of noodles in your face, that's assault, man. Plain and simple. Yeah. He has right here, click this link in bio for full video. It's on YouTube. I could not find his YouTube channel. I scanned his TikTok and couldn't find any information on it. All I have is these clips. I can only go off his words of his video if this is actually true. I do believe training with women, especially in these type of situations, I wouldn't put past anybody. I did find a comment I thought was pretty interesting after under one of these videos, and it reads, Brother Trucker says, so as a truck driver who has trained, 
I see this happening. I've been slapped across the face by a female student because I yelled at her for texting while driving. You don't know what we encounter. So, so you guys let me know, especially my truck driver guys watching the video. Y'all let me know. Have y'all had any wild incidents trying to train women drivers? Y'all let me know down below. So this next clip, a man buys his teenage daughter in bed with her boyfriend at his house, and he put him out of his house. Apparently the mom wants to check him. <laughs> They don't go in the bedroom. Understood. In the living room. Understood. He put his hands on you, correct? Do not you? touch my child anymore. You? And I wouldn't touch your child. Don't. I, 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 I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. It I doesn't matter. Him up. You put I your him hands out. He knew the rules. It doesn't matter. You could have spoke to him. You didn't have to touch him. You didn't have to use physical force. So did you, you know, did, I could did, press did you even know who he him. was? Where he was? I, he said he was going to a friend's house. I didn't know he was coming over here. Oh, so you don't keep tabs on your own Of course side. I That's keep crazy. tabs on my son. That's crazy. And you need to watch your mouth because don't tell me what I'm doing. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't put your hands on my child anymore. Is that understood? Hold on. Wait, wait right here. Baby, so yeah. I ain't waiting on nothing. And you can bring whoever you like. What, um, what, um, what did I catch y'all last night? In the room. Right, right, right. And, and okay. you already know that ain't no boy supposed to be in your room, right? Yes, but I didn't know he was going to stay overnight. Mm -hmm. He knows and you, know, and you know, but you know, well, my rules are not well you now. Now you know my rules as well. You do have to respect people's house when but, you are. But, but, but mom, no, no, speak up, cause you know he's shy. Tell, tell him what you told me. You said when you shy told or not. No, 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 cause he said it was her okay. idea for him to go in the room, and she the one who wanted him to spend the night. So, so yeah, yeah, she was there. Yeah, First of all. Who is this transformer ass bitch? There's always one, in any situation, there's always one wild card. One reckless person who tries to interrogate shit. I'm thinking this is a goddamn she-man in the background, but we'll move that to the side. A couple things about the situation. One, this is a conversation for men. This is a conversation between that man with his daughter and this man's father. It's not even a conversation for the mom. I always say in these situations, where's the dad at? And then another thing, that woman came to that man's house, and not right now, but earlier in the scene, the second, she's gonna be pointing and putting fingers in that man's face. I said this before. Not only do I think women damn sure shouldn't put their hands on men, I don't think women should be pointing fingers in their face. I don't even think women should raise their voice to a man. You have no idea how that man might react because you 40 some years old and have been able to get in man's face your whole life or oh man and get physical with men. You haven't come across oh, every boy. man and one man might slap the hell out of you, put you in your natural place. I had a daughter, I mm -hmm. came home and her boyfriend was in her bed. I put her out too and I'll hold my daughter yeah. accountable as well. Drag you out my house if I need to. You're in my house, you don't live here and right. you know the rules. I think this mom is kind of barking up the wrong tree. She need to be looking at her son and holding him accountable for his actions. Not mad at my man. Yeah. Tell him what you told me. So Isn't that what he told what us? Mm -hmm. so what is that? You accusing my daughter Look, of... Now, how would you like... You wouldn't like that at all, would it? You wouldn't go with that. Okay, so you're not going to put your hands on my son. Or I will. Or I will. You're not going to put your hands Ooh. on my son. This is how people get deleted, man. Well, Popping up at somebody's house. You should have told me to come in. No, you, you should have oh, stayed over. I told finger. you to come over. over. You're not like, do not point the finger. So you're you really going to sit here and allow my brother like this. Wait, 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 wait. No. So this no, no, no. all started because what, what did you tell her I did? I threw you out, exactly. right? I didn't put my no, hand on you. You put your, you put your hands over. He told her he told, he told you picked him up, you rubbed him, and you threw him against the wall. You don't do all that. So you don't, you don't touch my kid. I threw you against the wall, man. I ain't had no problem with you. I found you laid up. You not my dad. All right, That's now. All right, all right. His dad need to be here having this conversation. Listen to me. He doing too much. Listen to me. For real. Put your hands on my son anymore. Because okay. we can take now, it there. Because we can take it there. We like, will take it. Don't put your hands on my brother if no more. If you right want to do that, then good luck. Right. Watch him. How about you watch your son? Because you wouldn't have known he was here <laughs> if she didn't speak him. So watch your daughter. I didn't okay? see It's both of them. He was not supposed to stay over. My dad knew that he was coming over. Hey, take now, it there. Because we can take it there. We will take it Don't put your hands on my brother no more. Hey, that's the plan. If you want to do that, then good he luck. Ain't watch him. How about you no watch your daughter? Because you wouldn't have known he was here if she didn't sneak him. So watch your daughter. I didn't okay? sneak him. 
he was not supposed to stay over. My dad knew that he was coming over. And I'm not going to tell you again, don't put your hands on my son. You understand? Because how would you like it if I put my hands on your well, daughter? Well, yeah, he ain't allowed in my house no more. Okay, well, that? he's not going to come to your that? house. But like I said to you, how would you like if it is done to you? Okay, put the shoe on the other foot. All I know is if you you can't be coming to my house with all this I'm, aggression. Look, Facts. I'm not coming to it with aggression if you didn't put your hands on him. That's the point I'm trying okay, to we're make. Okay, we're about to close the door. Okay, will you? And if you come to my house again, you're going to have more problems in your No, I'm right. not going to have no problems. Don't bring nobody else do to nothing. my doorstep, okay? And you definitely not going to touch me. Don't bring nobody no. else to my doorstep. All okay, right, I'm have, a good, day. have, have a, a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, I'm not absolving older gentleman daughter from anything. He knew what it was. He knew it was. So both of them should be held accountable. You know, you're breaking the rules. Said it earlier. Y'all right, supposed to be in the living room, not in the bedrooms. You know he was breaking the rules. That means both of them. You notice how the mom is only focused on what father did. You put your hands on my son. Not that my son wasn't supposed to be here. And like my man called her out earlier, you don't even know where your son is at. The mother rolled up with her son, his, I don't know, his transformer brother, other woman. <laughs> Why are you bringing four people to my house? And mm. as the father said, don't come over my house again being no, aggressive because that's how people get hurt. You don't come to my house telling me what I can and can't do. Brother, this is a brother sister. I think that's what you call it, brother sister. Um, and that's crazy. I think that might have been a real one. I think that was real. I thought at first I like that might be fake, but I think that was real. You know, I don't know. I guess if you and somebody had you, but you, I don't know. You and if you and if I got a daughter and you in my house screwing my daughter without me knowing, I'm not saying it, I'm supposed to know it, but, but <laughs> without me knowing, like you know, but obviously she's underage and he's underage. Can you put it, can you really, can you put your hands on the boy? He, I don't know. Like, he don't know, I don't know. I guess you can t check him and tell him not to come back over here no more. You can't really put your hands on him. Not really, when you think about it. I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think in the comments, man? Leave your comments. Subscribe to Charles and Ezra. Hit the thumbs up button.